These are the M Sports brakes of a BMW X5 G05. Before you start working on your brakes and pushing your pistons back to make room for your new pads, you gotta make sure you don't have too much brake fluid in your system. The reservoir for your braking fluid is hidden under a little cover. So you can easily unscrew the cap, have a look at the level, and this one is quite full. So I've got to keep an eye on it while I work on the brakes and maybe use a syringe to remove some of the excess fluid. With these brakes you don't have to remove the caliper. To remove the brake pads we first have to remove two pins. Use a punch of some sort, here I'm using a little Torx screwdriver. I'm going to do the job with absolute basic tools to show that this can be done by anybody. Admittedly, if you had the proper tools, you'd probably be able to get this done much faster. But again, why buy tools that you're only going to be using once or twice in their lifetime? If you're wondering whether I should have cleaned the brakes beforehand, believe me, it's better to clean them afterwards, otherwise it gets really, really messy. Now the bracket is a bit spring-loaded, so to pull the pin out easier, just push the bottom part of it down a bit with any tool. And the same applies for the top bit, just push it down while you pull the pin out. Now we get into the part where we need to push the brake pads back to their original position. And to do that, I'm using a variety of tools. Now, chisels, screwdrivers, spanners, pliers, whatever you found useful. Now this is a part where you really need to keep an eye on your brake fluid reservoir, that it's not overflowing while you're pushing those pistons back. So if it if the level goes too high, then use a syringe to remove some of it. Oh, here goes the bracket. Not a big problem. That's what it looks like. I'm going to clean it up before I put it back in. So you can see that the brake pads are actually somewhat glued to the pistons. There's adhesive. Now the front left brake has got a brake sensor, so just be mindful if you want to reuse it not to break it. So I'm just going to unclip it with a flat screwdriver just by wedging it in and just turning it a little bit. And from what I understand is that that wire is a solid core so you can't really bend it back and forth too many times otherwise it will just break and then you have to replace the sensor. There it is, so I'm going to reuse that. Now those pads were pretty worn down, um, but not so far that the brake sensor was giving me a notification. So you're making sure that the new brake pads are exactly the same. And you can see that adhesive that is on the back. I'm going to leave the film on for now and start pushing those pistons back to the original position. So this is a little bit of a game of a whack-a-mole. Um, because you push one, one, one piston in, another one comes out. So you can see me using four tools 
the same time. It can be a bit tricky, but you get it done. And then once they're in, I'm going to use some brake cleaner uh, and give it a good clean. Don't use anything other than brake cleaner because um, you don't want it to interfere with your braking performance. So the adhesive you can still see on those pistons. So I'm just using a little toothbrush and nothing too abrasive, nothing too rough to get rid of that adhesive and give it a good clean before I'm going to put the new pads in. So this is a final clean, all the adhesive is gone. Now I'm going to use the new pads and push them in. I haven't removed the film of the adhesive because this is just a trial run, making sure I've got enough room and that everything fits the way it should. And once everything is good, I'm going to remove that film. I don't want to stick it to the pistons yet. I'm trying to keep it towards the disc, the rotor at this point. Making sure that the brake sensor goes back on. So I'm using a flat screwdriver just to click it in to its position. Now it's time to put the bracket in. It just sits loosely like that for now. It will be held in place by those two pins that we're going to be putting back in a bit later. So now put everything in its right place and then push it down until everything is perfect. Before I put the pins in, I'm going to give it some brake part lubricant. I'm using it very sparingly. It's just to make it a bit easier to insert those pins. Once the pin is in, I'm just going to lock it off by pushing it all the way with the mallet, hammer, or pinion enhancer, whatever you want to call it. Now that makes the bottom part of the bracket a bit springy. Again, duplicate the pin, push it down, similar fashion that we pulled it out. Make sure it's nicely lined up. So while I'm pushing the bracket down, I'm going to send the pin home. Now that adhesive on those new brake pads will engage with the pistons when you start pumping the brake pedal. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Thanks for watching.